exact thing to try to do here what Seattle did yesterday and Minnesota just did win at home in game three and stay alive. Starting lineups unchanged with Sacramento hoping that a change of venue will change the tone of this series. They lost game one by ten and it could have been more. They lost game two by twenty four. Well, Bob, the real key is going to be exactly what Seattle did yesterday. Take this crowd and this energy and get off to a great start. Vital today for the Kings. Pace, you know, then we'll break down to execution. O'Neal. If he's going to hit that, they have even less chance than they had coming in because that's pretty much what they want him to take from that distance. Well, you Sacramento. I agree with that, but that's the shot, though, that they want to not give him the dunks and the layups. The sea of white you see in the stands, everyone wearing T-shirts given out as they entered Arco Arena saying Mission Possible on them. It's almost a college like atmosphere in this town. This is the only major pro sports team in Sacramento. The building is perhaps the most raucous in the NBA. And this team feeds off of it maybe better than any team in the NBA. Their home court has been great for them. Shaq jump hook. Rebound to Weber. No second shots for the Lakers. Very, very important. One of the keys has been their offensive rebounding in this series. The Kings doing a good job here early. Anderson lost it. Lakers take off on the break. Harper. Here's Devox with the jumper. That's an important shot because we know Shaq is not going to come out with pain now. In the first two games, Roddy shot 9 for 27, 33%. Shaq won't guard him out there if he's shooting like that. Harper with five on the 24. Kobe Bryant got to get it off. And Devox wins the rebound. Williams races to the front court for the pull up. This time it's Sacramento on the offensive glass. And Weber can't hit. AC Green nudged from behind by Corliss Williamson. He created the inbound clock to get a shot for himself or someone else. That's a tough thing to defend against. In a sense, in the triangle offense, playing the same role that Michael Jordan did. Weber moves in and powers a basket. And you can see there a no call. Ron Harper stepped in to take the offensive foul. Offensive fouls have been critical in that game one. Remember, Weber had three that took him out of that game early. What I mean by the earlier comment, if out of the offense, nothing develops, you're down to five seconds on the shot clock, you put it in Kobe's hands, as the Bulls did with Michael, and he does something like that. Right on cue, that's what you talk about, getting guys in positions on the floor, and then Kobe knows if there's help exactly where his teammates are. That's why this system has been very good. Lakers by three. Nick Anderson, 4-3. Harper into the front court for L.A. And the foul is called on Jason Williams, his first. Weber trying to contend with O'Neal. Makes him take the relatively long jumper, which he misses. But again, the Lakers are on the offensive glass. It's poked away from Harper, and Devons has it. in transition can't hit it but Weber can in the first two games the Lakers have under 10 turnovers a game Sacramento on the year forces almost 18 that's what happens when you force turnovers you can get some layups now it's Devots on O'Neal another turnover Williams comes up with it Anderson is fouled at midcourt by Bryant You get out and you get Anderson misses a little layup, but you never quit on the play. Here comes Chris Weber for the follow-up. And nobody blocked him out, and the reason why is because there was a fast break, it was a broken play, so you're scrambling to find, try to find somebody. Back line, Williams slices through the defense and lays it in. And the crowd comes alive at Arco. Yeah, I think that Jason Williams can really help this team by getting some deflections and steals. Banks 
at home. Wow, how good was that? Shaquille O'Neal with a one dribble pull up using the glass. D Box is hammered. And a Laker. Yes, he's Goliath. Yes, he's the strongest man in the league and maybe the strongest man ever to play in the NBA. But his skills are very refined. That's a great point, Bob. How many big guys can be able to step out on the floor with that kind of bulk and size and do that? Now, interestingly enough, after that score, the Kings turned and ran it right back up the floor, and Shaq picked up his second foul. Vladi took the ball right through his chest and got the foul. Now, if Shaq goes out, they're going to have to take advantage of this, of his two fouls. If not, keep going at him. Maybe he'll get his third. The Lakers ask for time with 3.57 to play in the first. That's when they got to make their push. Take advantage of Shaq sitting. Weber. He has eight. Kobe Bryant, shot clock at eight. Williams over to help Delk. Three seconds to shoot. Rice on the move, beats the buzzer and misses. Delk takes the rebound. And there's a foul as they scramble for it. It'll go against A.C. Green. Only been there one time, they're one of one, so we know how important free throws are. Harper. To the baseline, leans in, shoots an air ball, but Sally grabs it. Shot clock winding down. They got to get it up. It'll be Bryant. Oh, that just takes your heart out if you're Sacramento. Second shots again. How how often do we talk about it? Here's Devons slamming into Sally, and the foul will go against Sally, who had hoped to establish position, but didn't quite do it. But look at this. Harper shoots an air ball. It winds up in Sally's hand. So as you said, Doug. The shot clock is still ticking down. He spins and fires a three. Oh, man. That's almost uh, the same kind of shot, except he hit it from the top of the circle in game two when Nick Anderson was all over him, tentative, and it really affected his free throw shooting. He lost some concentration. Shaw is in for Harper. Rice scoring Stojakovic. Stojakovic has not had a good series, and he tries to get off here by driving to the bucket for the jam. He had shot just two for 11 in the series prior to this. Well, then they need him to go. This is the same thing he did last year in the playoffs. Played great against Utah regular season, then had a tough playoff series. Couple easy baskets. Maybe he'll get rolling here. Glenn Rice and Rick Fox have done a good job on him defensively through the first two games. Bryant misses, and it's Stojakovic who picks it up. behind the back pass finds nobody in particular but there's a Laker foul. The question I have is why take that kind of pass? The risk reward is not there for you. You got to know when to make a play like this. You're down five in a playoff game. Now they're very fortunate they got bailed out with a foul but those are the kind of plays that Jason Williams just can't make in the playoffs. The foul was on Ori his first. Now Weber spins right by him for the power slam. Setting up on his shoulder. Chris, stay down there. Don't go out and shoot jump shots. And O'Neal is fouled as he receives the pass. As Shaq is a load for the Lakers down there and has the advantage, Chris Weber has it over the Laker power forwards. If he will go down there, you see his pal, Vladi Divac, exhorting his teammate on. But if he will stay down there, the Lakers will have to help. Then he can be a passer out of the post. His jumper is too hard off the glass. Here come the Kings, now down by only three after trailing by ten. It's Delk, who comes it to one. Now that was beautiful. Absolutely under control. Jason Williams made the simple pass. Tony, Tony Delk buried the jump shot. Arco in an uproar. And Shaq can't silence them, but there was a foul. And all of a sudden, Rice is shooting free throws. Kobe, that's where it really hurts you. Here's Weber. And even his foul troubles at times have come from trying to help out on Shaq. Stojakovic. They need him to get off in 
in this game if they're going to have any kind of chance. He averaged 20 a game against them in the regular season, stymied in the first two games of this series in L.A. The Lakers quickly in transition, and Ori is fouled. Home is such a wonderful place, especially for bench players. They, they play better at home. They feel more confident. Stojakovic started out the game with a layup. That widens that basket, makes that jumper go down a lot easier. And if he gets it going, he's that explosive element off the bench. The Kings are on a 13-3 run. They haven't led in the game, and they still don't. It's a good shot, though, by Stojakovic. Good shot. Here's Rick Fox in for the first time. Brian Shaw into the lane. Fox out of the corner. The rebound to Divox. Tyrone Kerbin got hurt on that last play, Bob. He is slow to get up at the other end as Divox takes the open jumper. Fox with the rebound. Corbin wants out. He looked over to Rick Adelman. They're going to have to take a foul here, I think, to get him out of the game. And they do. John Barry took it. Now, a consideration there. Outside shooters, two for 11 today. Stojakovic. A whole different story in this game. You can see what they're doing. They're getting some movement on the weak side. In L.A., they did a lot of standing. Weber at the ball at the top, a lot of screening to free the sh uh, shooter up. Kobe from 20, and there's his answer. A spectacular play, when to make the simple plays. We see Rice out of the timeout, bury the three. But more importantly, when he doesn't have the basketball, both on the offense and defensive, that he can be a factor. He has a tendency now, when he doesn't have it, to stand. If he's not guarding the ball, to stand and watch. He can create so many more opportunities, but he's going to have to continue to take the rough edges off his game. Here he is with the ball, seven on the shot clock. His three isn't there. It rolls to Harper. Bryant streaks out, and Kobe scores with a whirling move after evading Williams' attempt to slap the ball away. Well, when we say thing we've seen the Lakers do is on long jump shots, release and run out. Divots has it smacked away by Shaq. Lakers looking to bust it open. Suddenly in front by 10. Kobe for three. Rebound Williamson. Take your time here, get a good shot. Corliss Williamson wide open. That's a good shot. In transition, take your time. Now you've got to get some defensive stops. Remember, Kobe Bryant has four fouls. That basket stopped a 9-0 Laker run. Harper curling into the paint. Rejected by Divac. Sacramento with numbers. Williams pushing it. Blind pass to Anderson for the reverse. Now, now you ask to be thrown. One of the areas that won't help him grow is that was successful right there. Had that been a turnover, you'd say, well, maybe you don't make that kind of play. But Bobby is so good at doing these kind of things. Just about the moment you think he's going to get his head down, he comes back. Here's the block shot. They're going to be in the open court. And again, it's a spectacular play. You're down eight. It's the playoffs. You leave your feet. You're looking around. Uh oh, where am I going to go? At the last minute, he finds Nick Anderson. He bails him out and gets a layup. They're within six. Lakers by six. Pollard back in to guard O'Neal. Shaq immediately tests him. The rebound to Anderson. Pollard screening for Williams. Stojakovic double team. Still plenty of time. Nine on the shot clock. Stojakovic with the turnaround. Big move. How much better is he playing today at home? Remember he started out the game, he got that layup. Ever since then, his jumpers look very, very good. Boy, what a lift it would be for him to throw up a 20-point game today. He scored nine. Rice, straight away, a two-pointer that spins out.
Down 10 a moment ago. They can cut it to one if Williams hits this, which he doesn't. Bad shot. That's a bad shot. Coming down the defensive set, you launch up a three. Go inside. And a long three at that. He was well beyond the arc. Shaw, five on the 24. Brian Shaw with the jumper. Pollard had board position on O'Neal. Now, now, come down the floor and get the ball to Chris Weber on the low block. Get the ball inside. Make something happen. Weber's setting up high at the moment. Williams drives by Shaw and scores. Now, I'll live with that. He came down and he probed with the defense. They forced him baseline. No weak side LT. Kobe Bryant is sitting down now. He has the advantage quickness-wise over Shaw or Harper. Williams with eight points and five assists. Sacramento within two. Three second violation. And a three second violation at the other end. You see so many faces of Jason Williams during the course of the game. They're within four here. He comes down. 19 seconds on the clock. Defense back. That's not a good shot. Comes down. Probes the defense. Takes his time. Chris Clark, uh, Quick crossover dribble, and he gets the score in the layup. Around a playoff situation with so many injuries that could decide the outcomes of series. Ball batted around, and finally it's in Sacramento's hands. They still trail by only three. Jason Williams makes it one. You gotta love his fearlessness. Sometimes the decision making is questionable, but you can't question his heart. Here's Shaq over Pollard, short, got his own again, and a whistle before the shot. When Shaq shoots that ball, Scott Pollard has got to step back and get his body into him. Shaq is shooting it, and it'll serve. They kick right back at you and bump it back up to seven. Now it's the Lakers with six unanswered points. Weber. I love it when he's down there. I just think it's such a, a problem for the Laker defense. It puts them in a decision. Do they want Shaq to come over and help? When you have a player as good as Weber, I think Sacramento has too many trips down the floor where he doesn't touch it in position to score. Couldn't agree with you more. Rice from Shaq. Divac's rebounds. But that's the awareness I talked about where you have to know what you want to do. And when you've got a guy like this with Weber who's got the advantage, you've got to go through him. Let him make some decisions. Four-second differential now between the game clock and the shot clock. Williams fires a three. Another questionable decision. The ball out of bounds to the Lakers with 4.9 on the clock. Harper, Fisher beats the horn, and the third quarter ends with the Lakers in front by five, the same lead they held after two quarters. Now these, you look at O'Neal, Bryan, and Rice, they've got to combine 49 points. In the two games in L.A., they got 80. They're right in the game. John Barry finding Weber, guarded by Ori. The jumper, a very tough shot, and the rebound to Robert Ory. Shaq in the paint, spins to the hoop, but doesn't get the bounce, and then commits the foul. Going after his own miss. But that's his first foul since the first quarter, his third of the game. He was so wide open, he shot the ball quickly. He could have actually taken his time and almost dunked that basketball. He just shot it so quickly that his frustration went right over the back of D-Box for the foul. And O'Neal has shot just one for eight in the second half. Weber. Finds Divots. All right, what happened? He posted. When he drove, Shaq had to come over and help. Now Divots is open. That's why Weber's got to keep attacking. Don't just shoot that jump shot. Stojakovic reaches over Rice and fouls him. 
Now keep your eye on Shaquille O'Neal. As they go inside, they kick it out to Weber. He's going to penetrate. When he does, here comes Shaq. And there's Vladi right on the doorstep for the easy score. Kobe over the smaller Delk. And Delk fouled him. He did everything right except at the last minute he hit him on his arm. McAdleman, the frustration there. Again, Bob, as you talked about it, they're within three. Maybe you get a stop there. You get a chance, a three-point play to tie it as it is. Kobe shooting two free throws to push it back to five. Arms, and he's really the only guard with the quickness to be able to stay in front of Kobe. Defense! Defense! Shaq backing in on Divac. Little jumper. Had to arc it high, and Stojakovic rebounds. They can tie with a basket here, or take the lead with a three. Weber. Delk on the offensive glass. I really like Tony Delk. He's doing a nice job. Weber can't tie it. Had a good luck, couldn't hit it, but there's Delk again. Long arms. Stojakovic. They have the lead. They get it inside to Shaq. And that's how long Sacramento's lead lasts. Here's what happened. He tried to post Vladi Flop to take the foul. And when he did, nobody was there to guard him. Vladi's got to hold his ground. The referees are not going to give him that call. Vladi is a flop master. Always has been. And sometimes it works. That time it didn't. He gets his own rebound. But loses it. Kobe. Tough shot, but maybe not for him. That is way too good. That yeah, way too good. I mean, come out of a timeout, Shaq's resting. What do you do? You go to Kobe Bryant, your second option. He hits a tremendous shot. Here's Delk streaking to the hoop, but can't finish. Would have been a spectacular basket. Sacramento must take advantage of Shaq's setting. Remember in the first half, they didn't. Kobe calling for the ball, has it against Delk. Spins into the lane to the left hand, gets his own rebound, and puts it in. And the more I watch him, the more I'm convinced that while combining with Shaq is a prescription for team greatness, and that's what's most important to both of them. If you made him the number one option on almost any team, he'd lead the league in scoring. Couldn't agree with you more. And what you've also seen is what he's been able to do to be the second man and be able to still be a star with Shaq. John Barry. Off with the three. Rebound battle. And Sacramento's going to keep it. Actually, there's a foul on the play against Brian Shaw. The maturation of a young star. Remember, this is just his fourth year. Remember in Utah, his first year, the air balls that he had to live through when they got swept. When they got swept by San Antonio, he's become a bona fide star. His energy, his effort, he does it on both ends. And if they win a championship, it's going to be his growth. Yeah. Stojakovic hits a three, and Sacramento hangs in at 78-76. He scored 15 after averaging three in the first two games. Bryant had it knocked away, thought he was fouled. No whistle. Here comes Barry. Stojakovic off the dribble. Wanted a three. Fox got up on him. It'll be Delk. Way off. But Barry is there. Divac. And a Laker foul. And back. Spinning baseline. Hit the side of the glass with it. Here comes Sacramento. Barry pushing it up the floor. Tony Delk. The tip. Delk again. Tony Delk, what a spark he and John Barry are giving this team right now. Sacramento on an 8-0 run. And Phil Jackson.
Johnson stops the clock. Kobe Bryant. Right in Delk's face, but it rattles out. Ori gives them a fresh 24. Rice doesn't use much of it, misses the three. The rebound to Weber. And look at Vladi Divac saying, take your time. Now, where are they going to go? Go through Weber, create, and maybe Stoyakovic can get a jump shot here off this little two-man play. Weber to Stoyakovic, a brilliant pass. That's a little special play that they run, the two-man game. And Stoyakovic with 17 is a different guy at home. It's stripped away. Here's Sacramento on a 10-0 run and leading now by five. Execution again. Go back to it. If it worked once, make them stop it. Weber into Stoyakovich again. Weber back to Delk. It was touched last by the Lakers. Seven on the shot clock. When Stojakovic is shooting his jump shot well, it sets up his opportunity for a backdoor cut. He cuts against the vision of Glenn Rice, who was worried about the jump shot and gets the layup. Divac on the move. Lays it off to Weber. <laughs> Weber's got 27. Jack, fouled by Divac. Bloody Divac attacking off the dribble. Again, Shaq waiting back to sh block the shot. And when Shaq comes over, the man he's guarding is going to be open. The facial expression of Chris Webber. He knows they have a chance to get a winner today. Rick Adelman is excited. And Sacramento's defense with this unit on the floor has been sensational. Foul was Divac's fourth. Laker ball from the side. Kobe off balance. Doesn't get the roll. Weber rebounds. Outlet to Delk. One on four, no place to go. But again, Tony Delk forced Kobe Bryant into a difficult shot. John Barry. 14 unanswered points for Sacramento. And how about this? Phil Jackson is not taking a timeout. He wants his team to try to play through this. Rice finally ends the Sack King streak. We're going to go back to that two man play once again. Weber and Stoyakovic, a call special. Gets off the shot and hits it. How good is he playing? He is the difference in this game. Tony Dill. Weber got a hand on it and steals it. Up by nine with three and a half on the clock. The Lakers are unraveling right now in the face of this pressure. Weber hits the hook. And now Phil Jackson has no choice but to ask for timeout. His team, which in this half led by 10, now trails by 11. King's trying to use a little bit of clock here. Not too much. Delk was open and took it. When you feel it, why not? Remember now, this guy won a national championship in Kentucky. He's a champion. He's been there before. Rice stripped away and stolen by Stojakovic. Sacramento by 12 with 2.15 on the clock. And play is stopped on the other side of half court. It's number one on Fisher. If Jason Williams can learn anything by watching, it's Tony Delk is not doing anything quickly or fast. He's taking his time. He's setting up the defensive man. And when he comes off that screen, he is on balance.
Bryant to the front court. Blows by Stojakovic and lays it in. Now they, he has 30. They just can't give him baskets here now. They've got to do a better job. They've let Kobe just drive to the middle of the lane twice and lay the ball in the basket. Too much time for that, Bob. Stojakovic. Quick shot against pressure, and he was fouled. We well, got bailed out on that one. You want to use a little clock there. That was a good point, Bob. He took that a little bit too soon. Kobe Bryant in the open floor. Look at that. Behind the back, between the legs. Splits the defense. That one he laid in. The previous possession, he had a tomahawk dunk. So they're going to have to contain him and corral him in the floor, open floor. There is... Looking for Kobe. He fires the three. It comes up just short. Bob, Sacramento's going to win this game. Let's see what their body language looks like as they walk off this floor. No celebration. You got to win. Make it look like you expected this to happen today. Don't be too excited. Well, this was a team that, despite the fact that it had struggled toward the end of the regular season, had confidence against the Lakers based on head to head results. 24 second violation as Williams skids to the floor. They had lost three of four, but their losses were by 1.3.7 points, and they had beaten them here on this floor. In, in the two games that they're going to win here, the Lakers have had 91 points. In the game that the Lakers won, they scored 90. So all this high-flying, high-scoring by the Kings, if they can keep it in the 90s, they have a better chance than if it goes to 110. Kobe, who had 35, just lets the time expire. Tony Delk did a great job off the bench and sparked the victory. Before this series started, I asked Phil Jackson, would you like to see your team come out and sweep and get moving on? He said, I wouldn't mind a little adversity to see how our team is going to react. Well, you know what? This is the first loss. Let's go to Ahmad Rashad. All right, thanks, Bob. I'm here with Chris Weber and Tony Dell. Chris, one of the things I noticed, even in the warm-ups earlier, you guys were very confident today. No desperation came out like you expected to win. Yeah, you know, we lost to one of the best teams at their place, and uh, we're not saying that, you know, we should have done it. We're upset about losing there, but this is our home, and uh, we feel, you know, we feel confident here, and uh, we're an NBA team, too, so this series is far from over. And coming into this game afterwards, no big celebration. You guys realize you're out ready to do business, Tony. I think we were confident. We knew we could do it at our house, and uh, they were a good team, and we just had to defend our home court, and we did a good job of that tonight. How about the challenge for you, coming out, playing Kobe, also settling down a lot of good defense today? Uh, it's, it's always tough to guard Kobe. He gets a lot of shots. He's a great player, and I think I got a lot of help from my teammates, and he still got going, but uh, we did it as a team today. All right, and the beat goes on? Beat goes on. We're trying not to stop, baby. We're trying to live. All right, congratulations, you guys, on a great game. Get better, Coach Carrillo. All right.